Hi, my name is Nelson. You may know me from my first game. Not long ago, I received an invitation to a competition in which all participants have to prepare magic potions. Unfortunately, I was already late to make the necessary preparations. But my Uncle Sid had the saving idea. And so we set off on our journey. Where did we end up now? We are in Sky City, a cozy air spa. And what we are doing here? You have to get the recipe for a magic potion with which you can win the competition. The ingredients for it as well. What if that's all? Somehow I have the feeling that's not everything. Hi there. It's good to see you again, Nelson. What do I need to get for the recipe? How am I supposed to know that? You don't know what I need for the recipe? Well, you need the recipe first. As far as I know, the lord of this island has a magic recipe in his castle. He's having a big party today, by the way. Where's the catch? Well, he's undead and can't stand living people. Well, if that's all, that should be a piece of cake. How did Sid actually scrap together the money for the airship? I don't know. I'm not that far into his diary yet. Diary? Yes. You want to take a look inside? Actually, you shouldn't look into someone else's diary. It's your uncle. Okay, give it to me. Patience, Nelson. Not until I get through it. I'll be on my way. Good luck. Hands off, Nelson. Why? I still need the map. The belt has become too tight for Sid. An inkwell with a feather. Hello, Sid. Hey, how is my favorite nephew? Favorite nephew? How many nephews do you have? You are the only one. I see. Tell me, what do you actually name the airship? The Seagull Shit. The Seagull Shit? I bought the ship though cheaply because it was crapped on by seagulls. The previous owner didn't want it anymore. I have to buy some ingredients. Yeah, so? Do you still have some money left, Sid? Nah, nothing left. I have everything where is uh, invested in the airship. Great. But when you go shopping, maybe you can bring me a telescope. I'm afraid mine slipped off the deck. I'll see what I can do. I have to get going. See you later, Nelson. Hi. Hello, sir. Why are I on the trip? I'm betting that you will not survive the journey, sir. How nice! Someone has to bury you, sir. Don't you have business elsewhere? Indeed, but I have taken leave. The dead won't complain. You don't happen to have any body parts with you? Normally I would, but I wanted to travel light this time. So no body parts? Unfortunately no, sir. Damn! So you have to dig someone up yourself. And how I'm supposed to do that? I can lend you my shovel. You have a shovel with you? Of course, sir. After all, I have to bury you somehow. That makes sense. Here you go, sir. Well, I'll be on my way. And keep looking for danger, sir. Hey, you there! What's up? Parking here is not for free. Haven't you seen the parking meter? How much does parking cost? Three silver coins for one hour. 
three silver coins, that's extortionate. This is also an exclusive health resort. Nipper! Mom? Nipper, dinner is ready. Mom, you are not supposed to call me that when I have the armor on. We have talked about it. I am a person of respect. We are having fish sticks. Fish sticks? Awesome. I'm coming, Mom. You got lucky. But don't do anything stupid. <laughs> fish sticks. Three silver coins for one hour? They must be crazy. Hey, wait a minute. There's still a coin in there. Garden center Rapunzel. We have towering plants at a ridiculous price. Household help wanted. Contact me with confidence. Snow White. Do you have experience in mining ores? If so, we might have a job for you. Mining company of the seven dwarfs. Good day. Hi there. What can you buy here? Everything you can afford. You have really beautiful eyes. Are you hitting on me, boy? Eh, uh, I mean in the glass on the table, of course. Oh, so that's how it is. So mine aren't pretty enough, huh? No, no, I didn't mean it like that. Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding, son. Do you also have vomit medicine? You just mean vomit herb. This is very dangerous and not for beginners. What is so special about the vomit herb? Well, it makes you vomit. I figured as much. Well, well, you're a smart one, aren't you? Then tell me how to distinguish it from normal herb. Uh, no idea. Well, not so simple, huh? Do you have such a thing or what? No, but it grows well in the moonlight. Maybe you'll find something on the island. See ya! Ciao! A telescope. Uncle Sid asked me to bring him one. I would like to buy the telescope. One silver coin. Thank you. Enjoy the telescope. A mortar. Something like this is useful for processing ingredients. How much is the mortar? It costs one gold coin. Would you like to buy it? Later, maybe. A glass of horse vomit. And I thought horses couldn't puke. How much is a vomit? It costs a bag of money. Extortion? Monopoly. Would you like to buy the vomit? Later, maybe. Oh, a circus is in town. They are long gone. The poster has been there for three years. Why doesn't anyone take it down? In five years, the circus will come again. That makes sense. This is the smallest market I have ever seen. Hi. Hi there. Is this the marketplace? Indeed. I'm the only one still selling merchandise here. And why only you? Because no one else got a covered wagon on the mountain. And how did you manage to do that? I just inherited it. The covered wagon was here first. The town was built around it. I see. What are you selling here? Body parts. What? Why is that? There must be something you can do with the corpses. Uh, how about burying them? Do you see a graveyard up here somewhere? Okay, I understand the problem. Every now and then I sell my old comics too. Which ones? I still have a first edition of Captain Coleslaw vs. Dr. Sausage. Cool, how much is that one? I always wanted gold from the mine, but the dwarves are extremely greedy and lazy. I already thought that they are greedy, but lazy? As far as I know, they are on strike again because they demand a rate increase. How much do the old bones cost? Three gold coins per piece. 
What? That is usury. Why? There are many people who would like to put a part of the relatives in the living room. Is there nothing cheaper? Some are free. The arm and leg bones no one wants to have. Uh, thanks, I guess. I'll have a look around. Have fun. Hey, thanks, Nelson. What I wanted to ask. I don't have time for you right now. A map of the island could be useful. A piece of wood, you never know. We are on strike. The union of the seven draws agreed on a three-day warning strike yesterday evening. We ask for understanding. I can certainly use it. The gold nugget was too high for the dwarves. But unfortunately, I can't get it out with my fingers. With the wobbly handle it does not work. I gotta fix the pickaxe somehow. Done. Now I can buy a lot, uh, or at least I hope so. For sale. Luxurious country house with a spectious outhouse. At the asking price of 3 million gold pieces. Company? Ogre Real Estate. Well, that is a steal. The lamp does not work anymore. Hey, there's a key hidden here. Locked. Unlocked. An old book? I'm sure no one needs it anymore. The candle in the grave lantern has gone out. Maybe I can still use it. Maybe I can use this herb growing here in the moonlight. Hello, cat. Not you again. Hey, cat, I know you. Yes, unfortunately. Say, why are you hanging around the cemetery? I could ask you the same thing. Seriously, now. I'm a cat. We always like to hang around at night somewhere. I'll go again. Well, finally. Are you still selling that comic book for a gold nugget? Sure do. Thank you. Are these your relatives? Why no, that's me in various states of mind. Oh, and which ones are they? So, on the left picture, I'm slightly upset, and on the right, very thoughtful. Why, of course? How did I miss that? 
Good day. Good day, sir. Would you like to buy some antiques? May I ask who you are? I'm Volduk, and I'm an antique dealer by profession. My name is Nelson. I'm by profession uh, a kind of cook. I see. What kind of antiques do you deal in? Classical furniture and historical books. You also buy goods? Yes, sure. If you find something interesting, I could take a look at it. Why do you use a monocle? Well, I have a visual defect in one eye. And what about the other eye? That is made of glass. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. I must be off. See you soon. I have an old book here. Is that valuable? Let me see. Excellent. It seems to be a book with historical value. And what can I get for it? I can give you a gold coin for it. That's great. Oh, could you tell the cook that I would like to have a bowl of soup? Browsing through old books always makes me so hungry. Sure can. Here's a bowl for the soup. A mortar. Something like this is useful for processing ingredients. I would like to buy the mortar. One gold coin. Thank you. Enjoy it. The plant has strange yellow fruits. I better not try it. They are definitely not clean. Good day. Hey there. Is this a public canteen? Nonsense, this is a private kitchen. That's interesting. If you want, you can look around here, but don't touch anything. Got it? Hey, don't worry. Who are you? I am the cook here, you smarty pants, and indeed the personal cook of antique dealer Volduk. What are you cooking? Soup. The guy always wants soup. A special soup? He does not care. Currently, it is a herbal soup. I'll be on my way then. See ya. A knife could be useful. Now I have ground the plant. Maybe the soup should be seasoned a little. I better not try this one. I would definitely not eat the soup. Now the candle is lit again. Hopefully I did not burn the suit. I have only the one. The cook gave me a bowl of soup for you. Thank you very much. I will have the soup as soon as you are gone. Here's the glass eye. It must be rolled out when he threw up. I feel a little guilty after all. But I can't take the eye away so easily. A small wooden ball can certainly be very useful. Now I have a real wooden eye. I could replace the eye. I'm sure he won't know the difference, hopefully. That should bring some light into the darkness. 
as if I had not already dug enough graves in the last game. Now this desecration of graves has got to stop. There is only a small vessel in the grave. The potion of transparency, surely just a fake. But there is only one way to find out. Better not here. The potion of transparency, surely just a fake. But there is only one way to find out. This really worked. And I don't even have a shadow. Cool. Wait a minute. Maybe I should have gotten a potion that can undo the effect again first. Good evening, sir. Good evening. The party is in the dining room. Please go straight through the door, sir. Cool shirt. What hand is he trying to hold a drink with it anyway? How do you actually drink? Oh, we are just pretending. It's just a party. Good evening. A very good evening. Are you the host? Yes, of course. I am Lord Sausage. Welcome to the annual party of the Undead. You have a rather unusual name. But the name has a long tradition. My family has made sausage for many generations. And now they don't? No, we have switched to region products. It's funny times, isn't it? Indeed. What do you actually do when you're not partying? I'm a passionate fisherman and I read quite a lot. Mostly I read while fishing comics. Comics? Yes, my favorite series is Captain Cold's Law vs. Dr. Sausage. Do you know it? Why, of course, I'm a huge fan. I'm going to get another drink. Sure, why don't you try the Bloodfall cocktail? I have here a first edition of Captain Coleslaw vs. Dr. Sausage. Fantastic! May I purchase the edition? Of course! Thank you! I hope this bag of gold coins will satisfy you. The Lord on a fishing trip. A lot of fishing trophies of Lord Sausage. The Lord is a young and still alive person. A boring landscape painting. There's a safe behind it. There's a scroll in the safe, I'd better take it. I wonder if this is the right recipe. Finally, the recipe. A recipe for magic potion. I hope I can win the competition with it. Ingredients, one eye, bone meal and vomit. Ooh, luckily the potion works only a limited time. A glass of horse vomit. And I thought horses couldn't puke. I would like to buy the vomit. It costs a bag of money. Thank you. Enjoy it. This could work. The glass eye will hardly stand out among the others. At least I hope so. That would be an ingredient for the magic soup. Hi there. It's good to see you again, Nelson. I have the recipe. Great. Then let me know when you have found all the ingredients. 
Then we will leave for the competition right away. I have all the ingredients for the recipe. Then we should leave now for the competition. But before that, we have to make a little stop. I knew it. What are we doing here in this temple complex? We still need the magic soup spoon. Are you serious? According to a legend, the holy soup spoon is hidden here in the temple complex. The holy soup spoon? I know. It's a pretty stupid name. Maybe the developer was drunk or something. Perhaps he was. Someone has left stone wheel here. I can certainly still use that. I'm Nelson and I'm passing through. And you are? I am Professor Xylophon and I am investigating this temple complex. Xylophon? Like the instrument? Yes, but most of my students just call me Professor X. How old is this temple complex actually? Not very old, but I would like to upgrade it a bit. Why is that? Well, I place artifacts here myself and at the same time write down everything about them. In many hundreds of years, no one will have to look for them anymore. But then it's not really real. Who cares about that? I have to go. See you later. Here's a platform for a book and a few old clay pots. Boring. There's a stone wheel missing in the middle. The stone wheel fits perfectly into the gap. The compartment is open. The flap is now open, but there's nothing in it. Did you know that the compartment in the altar room is empty? You mean the one where the holy soup spoon is supposed to be? Yes, exactly. But of course, I took it out a long time ago. What? I just misplaced one of the stone wheels. I noticed. If you want, you can have the soup spoon. You're welcome. Ooh, thank you. It's just a stupid soup spoon anyway, right? Do you have the holy soup spoon? Of course. Then we can fly to the competition. Hey, there's a woodpecker sitting on top of the airship. Uh-oh. We are lucky to have survived that. Why is that, Nelson? I've crashed a lot of time in this thing. Oh yes? Was the airship also upside down in the sea afterwards? Um, 
Not really. At least we could forget about the competition. You should try to think more positively, Nelson. You really should, sir. After all, there are still plenty of ways to die. I am so glad to be traveling with you. Hi. You have survived the crash well, I see. I guess we can kiss the competition goodbye. Cheer up, Nelson. We can still make it to the competition. And how? By growing wings? Good idea, Nelson. All we need is the blood of an ogre and a dragon scale. What? <laughs> no, just kidding. If a boat doesn't come by here soon, we are screwed. You sure can make a man hopeful. What are we going to do now? Maybe we can hitchhike across the sea. And how are the chances of that? Well, not really good. I thought so. I'll have a look around. Have fun! Hello, Sid. Hey, Nelson. Are you all right? Well, you are in good mood. Why not? We are at the beach and I have something to barbecue. What more can a man want in life? That makes sense to me. Do you have any idea how to get out of here? Swimming! Swimming? Yeah, sure. Isn't that a bit far? No, we just swim to the airship and turn it around. Then we can use the ship as a normal ship. Without sails? We'll just paddle with our hands. How are we going to do that? We just need to strengthen ourselves first. Why do you just think I'm here providing food? A great plan, Sid. That's what I said. I'll look around here. See you later, Nelson. Hello. Good day, sir. Are you disappointed that we survived the crash? Of course not, sir. I'm just disappointed that you survived it. How nice. Somebody's got to bury you, sir. Do you have any tips for me how to survive this adventure? Sure do. I just can't share them with you, sir. And why not? It will help you live longer, sir. Well, I'd better be off. And I always look for danger, sir. Who was supposed to be hanged here? A rope can always come in handy. Hello, cat. Not you again. How did you get here? We cats no secret pass. Can you find a way out of here? Yeah, so great gallows for you up ahead. Very funny. I'll go again. Well, finally. If this is supposed to scare people off, it is certainly not a good advertisement for a kiosk in the swamp. Surely no one needs a spear without a skull anymore, right? Please don't be surprised, I have very big pockets. Ouch! Fly for sightseeing here in the swamp. One of them has a headline, a beautiful landscape to immerse yourself in. Very funny. <laughs> that slogan was my idea. Nice poster, but why are they looking for Pinocchio? Are you kidding? With every lie the boy grows wood out of his nose. So what? That little fellow is the poorest cash cow for the timber trade. You can order logs here. Sure can. This is even our main source of income. Why is that? There are people who buy rafts with it. Good day. Good day, sir. Why did you open a store in the middle of a swamp? Well, I have no competition here. 
But certainly no customers either. Every now and then an airship crashes nearby. I'd not think of this clientele. What can I buy in this store? We offer wood deliveries. Why wood deliveries? It is very difficult to get dry wood here. I see. But why do people need dry wood? To make fire or to build a raft. And what does it cost? 200 gold pieces for a pile of dry logs. Unfortunately, I don't have that much with me. No problem. You can also buy on account. Gladly. I only need your first name. My name is Sid. Very good. Where should I have the wood delivered? Uh, to the beach. Of course. Your delivery is on the way. Thank you. I have to thank. I have to go now. Please try not to sink in before you buy something here. This should suffice as firewood for now, but maybe I can use the wood in another way. I have an idea. The raft will be our salvation, but something is still missing here. The mast will be important. We already have a mast, but something is still missing. Hello, Sid. Hey, Nilsson. Are you alright? Hey, Sid. You don't happen to have anything that we can use as a sail? Try these underpants. Who are the giant underpants from? From the Miller, of course. I always like to smell them. Oh, thank you. I'll look around here. See you later, Nelson. A sail is still missing. Now we can start. Just great. We could also have swum these five meters. All because they did not want to get their feet wet. Why is there a simmering cauldron here? I'll check if the cauldron is hot. Uh oh! Oh no, not the bit dimension again. And this time I'm also completely in pixel art. If I ever get my pixelated hands on the developer of this game. Haha, <laughs> this has nothing to do with the developer. The Baron, you organized that competition. Sure did, Nelson. And you fell for it. Now you too can rot here in the 8-bit dimension. Have fun! What a bummer. I have to get out of here somehow. Again a wanted person. This time a king. Why do they always run away? It seems that the dismantling of these blocks is forbidden here. Left leads to Berlin and right to Iskenderun. Tevin to the pixelated boar. Hello, what are you doing? Hi there. I'm hanging around here because I don't have a job. Have you lost your job? No, I didn't get it in the first place. What job are you talking about? 
I wanted to work in the dwarf mine, but I'm too big for them. Why don't you get another job? What? This is my dream job. I always wanted to work as a dwarf in a mine. But you are too big. I feel discriminated against in my civil rights. Understand. Are you waiting for anything here? Sure am. I'm waiting for the host who finally serve me a dessert. A main course without dessert isn't a real meal, is it? Do you have a special request? I don't really care if it's chocolate pudding or sweet dessert. Goodbye. See ya. The bottles on the shelf are as empty as the jugs on the table. Strange, there's no single bottle on the top shelf. Shut up! Not everyone can be such a bean pole. Do you have non-alcoholic cocktails? Are you kidding me? What can I drink at your place? Nothing! It's all in the cellar and it's full of rats. What do a few rats in the basement have to do with it? The rats are almost two meters tall. I see. You look like an adventurer. Won't you squash them for me? Me? Yes, then you can have all the food and drinks you want. I have no weapon. Here, take my sword. It's sharp as a pixel razor. I have to go. See you around. Pixelated like this, the bark looks kind of weird. How is it going? Do you want to disturb me here at my picnic? Why no? Good, otherwise I'd have to behead you. Oh, with what? Hmm, you don't happen to have a sword or an axe with you, do you? I'm afraid not. I'd give you a jar of gem for it. Why do you want a weapon so badly? As a small pixel dwarf, you have to be able to hold your own in the world of big pixels. I understand. Do you often have a picnic here? Yes, we dwarves have organized ourselves into the union and thus enforced the five-day month. You mean a five-day week? Why no, we work only five days a month. I'm not stupid and work five days a week. Okay. I have to go. See you later. Great, thank you. Now I can finally behead my mother-in-law. What? Uh, I'm just kidding, of course. Here, a jar of jam as a thank you. To the right is a pixel forest. I am surprised myself that I can read the sign at all. The view is really nice, even if pixelated.
The bartender gave me this fruit you deserve for you. Really? Thank you. Uh. Yummy. You can have the empty jar back. The right is a pixel forest. I am surprised myself that I can read the sign at all. The view is really nice, even if pixelated. What are you? I'm a forest light. You can see that, can't you? What's a forest light doing here by the lake? Shut up! Just because I'm a forest light, I don't have to hang around in the forest all the time. It's okay, why so upset? Because you dumb pixel asses get on my nerves so much. A beautiful view. Yes, but it's my view. So get the hell out of here, you moron. Hey, the view is there for everyone. I'll blind you right now, so you'll be blind forever, you dumb ass. I have to go. See ya. So, now I've captured the unfriendly forest light. Hopefully that will teach him a lesson. Visitor again. How nice. Do you two live here? Where else would Yonder live? Makes sense. You have decorated this place quite nicely. Thank you. We have tried to make it as colorful as possible. You have succeeded quite well. What do you do as an undead all day? So we want to play a round of pedagogy's poker, but it's too dark. All the candles are burned out. What is pedagogy's poker? We were teachers in our life before death. And really good ones. And what does that have to do with poker? We educate each other while playing. And it works very well. Would you like to play? Hmm, maybe another time. We still need candles or a lantern anyway so that we can see the cars before our eyes. I have to go. See you around. Oh cool, a forest light, thanks. Now we can finally play poker again. You're welcome. I'm glad to be rid of the forest light. As a thank you, I can give you an old book we don't need anymore. A book about teleporting to high resolution dimensions. Yes. We don't need it anymore. We like it much better in 8-bit. The people in full HD are totally snobbed anyway. Oh yes, you still need the potion for dimension teleportation. I know, it's a mouthful. Try to say it ten times in a row. And how does that work exactly? It's all in the book. A book about teleporting to high resolution dimensions. It says I need a magic potion which I should pour into a bath tube full of water. Where can I find a bath tube full of water? I see only very cloudy pixel water in it. I hope this works. Hey, what are you doing? Getting out of here, what else? No! Pfft. 
Whew, finally in full HD again. What happened, Nelson? The Baron has organized this competition as a trap for me. What did he want? I was supposed to be stuck in the Abit dimension just like him. But I managed to escape and I'm safe and sound. Too bad. I would have liked to bury someone. I knew you would. So what we do now, Nelson? Let's go home. <laughs>